Rum, rum, klik. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. I'm your host with a beard and today I'm going to review this 2022 BMW M3 Competition X-Drive. So sit back, relax and enjoy. First of all, let me thank BMW The May for providing me with this car and making this review possible. I will link their website and their Instagram down below, so be sure to check them out. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 BMW M3 Competition X Drive. And by now, everybody knows the signature <laughs> grills of the new M3 M4 cars, which are not that popular, but becoming increasingly popular. People who didn't like them before are starting to like them. And I gotta be honest, it's growing on me as well. We have some carbon fiber trimmings right here and right here. This specific car has been equipped with the uh, laser lights and here we see the daytime running lights very beautiful very bright at night as well when we move to the side of the car we see 19 inch blacked out rims i would prefer 20 or 21 inch rims but this is how it comes from a factory we got a blacked out badge right here this is not functional not an errand or anything as opposed to the previous models and we also have the carbon fiber trimming on the mirrors right here very beautiful with the integrated led turn signals we see the four exhaust pipes the real exhaust pipes and we have gloss black trimming right here i'm sorry the car is a bit dirty because it's been raining and everything the past few days uh, we do have the carbon fiber package of the exterior so this is completely in carbon fiber very beautiful very flared arches right here you can see on the right and on the left you see them sticking out right there. Very muscular rear end. We also have a carbon fiber spoiler right here, which does give the car a more sporty look, especially when looking from the side. Moving to the interior of the 2022 BMW M3 Competition X-Drive. Wow, I think I'm just gonna say M3 uh, from now on because uh, that's a whole mouthful to talk. The door opens up pretty widely which provides for a easy access into this gorgeous interior. So this is the 2022 uh, BMW M3 competition with the 2023 M3s and M4s. We do have the new curved displays as we saw before in the X1 and the 2 series and the i4 and everything. But this still has the um, signature digital gauge cluster right here and the separate screen for the media interface and infotainment system from the inside it looks kind of similar to the bmw m4 competition that i've reviewed if you haven't seen that review go check it out i'll link it in the description we got some carbon fiber shift panels right here or shift paddles we got the m1 and the m2 buttons right here which i absolutely love in this red color some carbon fiber trimming around these buttons as well and some leather we have the M color stitching on the steering wheel as well. Very beautiful. We have this carbon fiber plated uh, cover for the middle console. When you open it up, you have a wireless charging port and two cup holders with a cigarette lighter and or a 12 volt socket and a USB-C or a USB socket actually. That's weird. A car like this should have a USB-C socket. But anyways, moving further, carbon fiber trim around the gear lever. Very beautiful gear lever with a red outlining the red start stop engine button and then you can set your m modes right here this is the setup of the car and this is the exhaust and then we have your various button for the navigation media and everything for the infotainment screen let me show you guys the space in the rear of the m3 because Mostly what I want to do is I want to drive this car, so I'm going to go over it very quickly. The reason people pick this car over an M4 is because of the space in the rear, if you have kids and stuff like that. So, as you can see, this seat has been put into my driving position, a bit more reclined uh, backwards because I was uh, reviewing the cockpit. You see I have plenty of knee space here, no um, netting or anything uh, to put away your stuff, but hey, 
the seats are beautiful anyway these are not the carbon bucket seats which look even more beautiful but anyways i have plenty of knee room as you guys can see i have an abundance of headspace as well i think people up until six foot might be just fine here especially on longer journeys the middle seat is not that usable because you have a huge tunnel right here because this car is an x drive version so you have the transmission tunnel and the x drive system running through this part right here so you have to put your feet right here which cuts into the space of the people sitting to your left and to your right uh, the seat is a bit firm on your back as well so i won't transport here uh, any adult that is kids will be just fine uh, but you do have a magnificent view over this luxurious cockpit and the beautiful road right in front of you you have a nice cubby right here and then uh, space for your bottle uh, same as on the other door uh, we do have a climate system right here for the people sitting in the back and USB-C sockets for charging up your phones. This middle part can go down so you can transport longer items and also these seats here fold down for more cargo space. There is no part that comes down here with cup holders or anything. And also for practicality reasons, let me show you guys the boot space, fully electrically opening tailgate. And as you can see, there is plenty of cargo space in the trunk of the bmw m3 competition very very nice and these levers you can use to recline those seats if you need more cargo space and with the press of a button it closes again what a beautiful rear end all right and now let's see how the 2022 bmw m3 competition x drive drives and behaves on the road Everything is in Sport Plus because I'm not going to drive it inefficient. And let's go. Whew, wow. Let me close up the window. Oh my God, so much power, so much grip because of this X-Drive system. This car is a proper beast. The thing is, I put this car, everything in Sport Plus. So I have the engine in Sport Plus, the suspension in Sport Plus, the steering in Sport, braking in Sport and everything. Uh, and I put it in four wheel drive because I'm not gonna risk doing two wheel drive or uh, doing everything off but the thing is even with the suspension in sport plus it still feels uh, doesn't feel hard at all you know it feels uh, nice and it feels luxurious it's soaking up the pumps pretty well which i don't know if it's a good thing or not but let me test it out here when i take a turn Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit hard. There is barely any body roll. Uh, still some body roll, but it's um, very little. But if you compare it to the F8X Gen M3 M4s, the suspension is way softer than those ones. These cars are also more tailored towards luxurious uh, driving instead of sporty driving, but that doesn't mean these cars aren't sporty because they are sporty as hell which I will demonstrate now by taking this sharp turn here. Oh! <laughs> and now let's floor it. Oh, wow, oh my God. The power in this car, the power delivery, the gearbox, everything is so fine-tuned. The steering is pretty, it's pretty responsive, but vague at the same time. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Uh, if you've driven these generation of M cars, then I do think you guys know what I mean. Because you do have a decent amount of steering feel, but still you don't feel as if you have a connection with the front wheels, which is kind of a shame, you know, because that is one of the most important traits of a sports car. But anyways, it does react pretty fast to uh, turning the wheel. So in this generation of M cars, there is no more a DCT transmission, but these are paired with a ZF 8-speed transmission, which is, yeah, it's still pretty fast, very reactive. The seats are very comfortable, very padded. Uh, they do hold you in place pretty well because the bolsters are really thick, especially when you're taking turns like this. See. 
I'm in my place. <laughs> I'm not even sliding about on these leather seats because normally leather is very slippery. If you go for the carbon bucket seats, which are not in this car, they're gonna sit a bit harder, but I've heard that those are very comfortable as well. I don't know. Um, I don't know if any of you guys has driven a car like that with carbon bucket seats. Let me know in the comments how it is. You do hear a significant amount of noise from the exhaust. Well, that is not actual exhaust noise. You do hear a little bit of the exhaust as well, but it is pumped in uh, through the interior through these speakers and that's something i'm not uh, fond about you know it's a bit of a fake sound to give you the experience why why do you need to do that in a car like this you know it's it's a proper sports car you know need to have like the the actual exhaust sound the engine sound the turbo whiff you know you got to hear everything you got to feel everything in a car like this and uh, there should be no fakeness you know but hey you know you can code it out if you have a car like this uh, now i'm going to let you guys hear a clip uh, from the exhaust <laughs> So how was that? I think it sounds pretty good, but it's still a bit muffled, especially when you compare it to the previous gen cars. Uh, that is because these cars, uh, as from 2018 onwards, they come with, or 2019 onwards, they come with OPF filters and they dampen the sound of these exhausts quite a bit, which is such a shame. And all these stupid government rules, they're just ruining the fun for us car enthusiasts. But hey, there are plenty of solutions on the market to get rid of these OPF filters and new exhaust systems and everything like that so I'm sure if you buy this car you are going to invest in one of those straight road again let's floor it <laughs> oh my god this car is way 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 faster than the previous ones the adrenaline is just rushing through your veins when you shift down and oh my god so this was my quick review of the 2022 bmw m3 competition x drive and i mean my final thoughts about it is this car for every car enthusiast no if you want a raw sports car then you shouldn't go for a car like this because this is more like for people who want a bigger car who want um, some luxuriousness as well who want to drive in all comfort but at times do want to drive a very sportively which this car can do it transforms its entire character into a a proper beast and um, you can put this car in a two-wheel drive as well if you want to have some fun uh, all-wheel drive for snowy rainy conditions or if you just want to do some pulls against uh, you know golf R's or uh, <laughs> cars like that 